Hello everyone, this is the Classic Chuck channel. Before this video starts, please read the description and subscribe. Now let's get into it. So before the Chuck E. Cheese in Streamwood, Illinois opened as a Chuck E. Cheese, it opened as a showbiz pizza place in December 28, 1988. The building was built during when the Pizza Time Theater Hoffman States closed down in 1986, but that will be in the future video. After it opened, their outside store entrance was the classic showbiz phase two ex exterior, even there was no pictures of it inside the store. But first, we'll start with the game room. The game room did not have any Chuck E. Cheese related rides or games. The only Chuck E. Cheese related they had in the showbiz game room was that Pizza Time Theater ball pit, but it did not last very long. We'll talk about that later. They had all showbiz pizza ride and games in the game room, even some retro games in the showroom. They had the Rocker Fire Unification posters. Not only that, they had a Rocker Stage 2 as well. Their house color was green and white. All Chuck E. Cheese Rocker Stage animatronics had their Pizza Time Theater outfits and looks, but they did not have the flowers. Very unique store as well. Chucky had his derby outfit, and Jasper had his farmer outfit, and had Helen had that rocker stage version where she sits down in the rocking chair, and Pasquale and Munch were just the original cyber animatronic versions. Not only that, they had the Billy Bob walk-around costume in the store too as well, but they got rid of him in the year 1990. Mostly in the game room, you'll see the showbiz pizza place tokens and tickets. And normally, on their outside store look and inside store look, they, it looked like original showbiz pizza place. In the year 1990, the Billy Bob walk-around costume was replaced with the Chucky yellow sweater walk-around. And the showbiz Entertainment Center Streamwood closed down too as well and reopened as a Chuck E. Cheese show the showbiz their showbiz exterior was replaced by the Chuck E. Cheese Phase 2 logo on the outside entrance all their showbiz games and rides were removed in the game room and replaced by their piece of time theater games and rides and mostly their tokens and tickets were also replaced by the phase two Chuck E. Cheese tickets and tokens as well and they kept their retro games too as well too mostly their unifications posters were gone too and replaced by the new Chuck E. Cheese unification posters on 1992 the rocker stage Helen version was replaced by the Tuxedo Helen version and this is the only photo we have until we find more and we'll keep you updated on that. If you're wondering why was the rocker stage version Helen replaced by the Tuxedo Helen, the reason is obviously unknown. Same with Jasper, he had his Tuxedo outfit too because the clothes keep ripping for some reason. Also, Jasper eyes stopped opening because his eyes were moving too fast and smoke was coming out, so they had to turn off his eyes. When Phase 3 began on 1993 1994 at Streamwood, a whole lot of changes happened. Their outside exterior Phase 2 was replaced by the awesome Phase 3 logo. Not only that, they also installed the Phase 3 cover shield. Some of you say that they had the cover shields when it opened actually they didn't they had those long wooden shields just like in Chuck E. Cheese Louisville Kentucky but they changed that kind of layout when they install phase 3 any anyways in the phase 3 of Streamwood they removed awesome the awesome phase 2 Chuck E. yellow sweater walk around and replace it with the more better tuxedo Chuck walk around if you're wondering what phase three wouldn't or what phase three wouldn't 
what phase three would and or poster signs they had. Well, here you are. They had the salad bar wooden sign, the gift and prizes wooden sign, the beverage wooden sign, the coach chuck between the checkers, the showroom sign with the chucky rat. They had that round wooden chuck above the menu center, even that top chucky figure on top of the menu, even those neon lights they removed, the unification Chucky posters rep and replace them with the record posters in the in the showroom. Not only that, they had that cool mountain Chuck poster, even Jasper cheese guitar wooden sign as well. <laughs> they had those, they had they had those Jasper postcard. The Pasquale postcard, the Elvis postcard, the baseball field postcard, the costume feet postcard, the classic cards postcard, the Hollywood post Chucky postcard, the Chucky e. Cheese costume postcards, even the Phase Three plants in the showroom, even those Phase Three magazine posters and those Phase Three wooden stars, mostly. They had those pencils and crayons and phase three balls, w wooden signs. Last but not least, they they had two shelves in the showroom, one by Chucky and one by Pasquale. They had two Chuck statues, one by Chucky was the Tuxedo Chucky statue, one by Pasquale was the awesome Cowboy Chucky by Pasquale. The one by Pasquale had the longer longer shelf and last but not least they replaced their rocker stage with the two stage if you're wondering if they had the much make believe band sign on the two stage yes they did but we'll talk about that in a bit the last thing they had they 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 installed was the sky tubes they remove they remove the piece of time dealer ball pit with with the phase three sky tubes not only that, they had the 1991 Chucky posters too. In 1998, they removed their tuxedo Chuck walk around costume and replaced it by the basketball hoop Chucky costume. In my in my opinion, I kind of like this costume in Chucky e. Cheese history. In 1999, they removed their Munch Make Believe band sign and because on the two stage because it fall off and smash and when they hang it back up it stopped working so they got rid of it not only that they removed most of their phase two game rights and their retro games and replaced replaced it by new Chuck E. Cheese games in the late 90s and early 2000s and also they installed that Chuck E. photo ride if you're wondering that they installed it back when they didn't when they didn't they had when they didn't they had too much game and rides back when they had phase two or when they installed phase three in the year 2001 Chucky had his derby suit removed and replaced with the cool Chuck suit except they kept his Derby hat, and they also installed those four Chucky posters too. Not only that, they put away that basketball hoop Chucky outfit and replaced that Chuck and re replaced by the cool Chuck outfit. They also had that Chuck Zero One outfit too on the year 2004 or 2005 when Phase Four began. Corp ordered their two-stage Jasper Munch and Pasquale to get their new mask because Corp is Corp. Also, they ha they had that toddler zone and their posters, even those Chucky token with a sign on top of that roller skate ball. And here's the only photo of those Phase 4 Chucky tokens wooden sign on top of those roller skate ball 
in Streamwood. Not only that, they removed Chucky Derby top hat and replaced it with his cool Chuck hat. They also stopped doing the covering curtains by that time too. They also started removing their early 2000s Chuck E. Cheese games too. By the year of 2006 or 2007, their cool Chuck outfit and Chucky Zero One outfit costume was replaced by the Avenger outfit costume. The last thing that happened on that year was they removed that color TV design too and made it like a regular TV design. On 2009, all late 90s or early 2000s games were replaced and removed by the new Phase 4 Chuck E. Cheese games like Buzzy Bee, Spiderweb, and that Knockdown game. They also installed that Phase 4 wall Chuck E. Live paper too. On 2010, they sadly removed Chuck E. latest mask and replaced it with the new two-stage mask on Chucky. They even removed that cool Chuck outfit and cap and replaced it with the Avenger outfit. Nothing really happened in 2010s at Streamwood except on mid-2013. They plan in relocating and in 2014 they in 2014 and they painted their shelves while blue and they sadly removed their curtains and began to remove those neon lights and their phase three posters by beginning in September 2013 they sadly removed their Avenger costume outfit and replaced by the Rockstar costume Chucky 2 in 2013 I also forgot to mentioned this too in the 2010s they installed that phase 4 chucky ticket blaster sadly by 2014 they've kind of demolished most of the animatronics in june 14 and opened the phase 5 chucky cheese streamwood in 2000 in june 14 2014 during the last day of the phase 3 streamwood but some Jasper parts and mask went to Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Chucky mask went to F Fullerton, Chicago, Illinois. But sadly, got 2.0 not too long ago. Before we'll talk about that, the new. Before we'll talk about the new 2014% Chucky e. Cheese Streamwood. Well, we'll talk about the abandoned. Streamwood and the furniture store that took over too, but before we'll talk about that the reason why Streamwood relocated They had a better deal for a stage and a store After the Streamwood Chuck E. Cheese went abandoned in 2015 and 2014 there was this furniture store that took over the abandoned store called Luxury Furniture Store. There's not too many pictures of it, but there is quite some and and inside the store what surprises me in, of the photos they had that top two stage Chucky e. curtains and they and they had that floor they had that Chucky e. Cheese arcade floor carpet too. That's the only information I have and they also closed down in 2017 or 2016 I th I think by July 7 2018 they sadly demolished this beautiful abandoned Chuck E. Cheese Streamwood and that was the last major event happened. And now we'll talk about the Phase 4 Chuck E. Cheese Streamwood. So there's nothing really much and here it is today. The posters they had right now is the light up posters, the Chuck E. Rockstar characters posters, the Chucky Rockstar poster, and they also ha had quite a f quite a few, too. They also had some old games too, from the old Streamwood, and some old belongings from the old Streamwood too. They also had that Ticket Blaster from the Chucky e. Cheese Streamwood Phase Three too. And they and when they after they opened they op they got the 
the circle of light stage with no animatronics, which that sucks and ruined the whole the streamwood Chuck E. Cheese. Nothing really much, and here it is today. I haven't went there too. I went there not too long ago. I think I went there like l last week. But if Chucky, if you guys are wondering, what would Chucky e. Cheese stream would be like today if it was still open the other one? Well, to my guess, they would have probably had Phase Three, but they would have got rid of their Phase Three exterior and made their wind covered shields red and purple, just like the Phase Four. Phase Five Chuck E. Cheese, and they would have had a, they would have had a mix, Phase Three with Phase Five, and this is what their two stage would have looked like today too, and and they would have it would have probably been a nice store too, but but and they would have probably got 2.0 in 2019 or 2020, but we may never know. So that's the end of it, guys. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe and like for more.